Good morning. I think it's still morning. Uh, Mineola and beyond. Um, coming at you a little late today again, but I think honestly, guys, with my kids going to full distance learning, it'll happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays, hopefully sometime. So, um, maybe not always at 1030 in the morning. So, um, and I'm going to be home more often. So you're going to see very strange, um, corners of my house because I have to get to places that my kids won't completely interrupt and, um, interrupt me. So semi-quiet. Ah, oh, I hope you all had a, um, a lovely holiday weekend. We, <laughs> ours did not quite go as planned. I actually ended up getting sick. And so, yeah, it's been an interesting couple of days, but, um, as I have been getting better and better over these last two days, um, and, and feeling a little bit more like myself, I have gone back to our Miss, um, Adrienne Marie Brown and wanted to bring one of her, um, one of her tenants of emergent strategy that is absolutely necessary to me right now, which is there is always enough time for the right work. I think I find myself, um, as we enter these holy days, particularly as we continue into them, um, a little manic about doing things like you got to get it done and this thing and that thing. And, um, there's not enough time. There's never enough time. And taking that breath and remembering that God has given us enough time. There is enough, um, to do that, which we have been called to today in this moment. Does that mean we're going to get everything done? No. But what the right work is, if we can focus on that, if we can remember to look and feel and engage in the right work, God's work in our lives and in the lives around us, then there is enough. There is a um, sustainability and um, I'm looking for a word and it's, it's eluding me. Um, anyway, it is just eluding me. I cannot find it. So, um, if it comes to me later, I will probably <laughs> let you know. Um, but, oh, it was right there. Oh, gone again. So that is, um, something for us, I think all to hold as we continue through these days to when we do feel if, if you too sometimes get that kind of manic, nah, um, too many things, all the things, um, to take that breath and to remember that God has given us enough time for the right things. So with that, uh, let us pray. <sighs> oh, heavenly creator, you have given so much. You have given enough, enough to sustain us in and through each and every day. Help us to trust your creation, that which you have given so freely already. As we continue to walk these days of Advent, this time of keeping awake and preparing with expectation for the birth of your son, Help us to remain focused on your work, the right work, the work that you are calling us to, that your spirit is inspiring us to focus on. Let those be our goals. Let that be the light at the end of the tunnels. Today, we pray for many in our community. We pray for Alex as he continues to recover from his surgery. We pray for Corey and Pam and their daughter Ashley and her husband as they continue down a new and sometimes difficult path. We pray for Skylar and her family as they start to rebuild after having lost so much. We pray for Owen and his continued recovery and that he will be able to play again. We pray for Anita, who has been hospitalized with due to COVID. Help her on her journey to recovery. 
be with her and let her know that the spirit of this people surrounds and fills her with healing, love, and care. We pray also for all those in our community in the educational system, all those within our community in the medical system, all those within our community who are public servants, those who are finding new and different ways to serve and help and bear up under the pressure and the stress of this new reality. And for four of our families, we once again bring to you this week, oh God, for Brittany and Joshua Arndt, for Ashley Hartfield, for Aaron Lohman and Tony Hendon, for Dan and Sue Scheffler, and for all of their families, may they have health and joy and laughter this week and in the days and weeks to come. We give you thanks for this community, for this place, this gathered body, though we are distanced from each other. We are gathered and connected through the love of your son whose birth is coming and which we will celebrate with great joy and thanksgiving. In your most holy and gracious name, amen. Well, peace to you all this day and um, we will see you again on Thursday.